Well, hello, everybody. Uh, we're a little bit later than we've been um, starting this. Uh, kind of shocking considering when you're online. Um, uh, it's been much easier for, for me to actually start a show like on time um, uh, as opposed to being um, uh, hiply later. But in this case here, we're just kind of getting ourselves all pulled together and whatever. We're just glad to be here. Thank you so much for uh, being um, here tonight for Folk You, which is a singer-songwriter round robin here in the Chicagoland area. And and since we've been, this is our 29th remote broadcast, um, since we've been doing that, it's it's truly become, you know, uh, universal <laughs> in in more ways than one because we've had, um, we've had songwriters who had to travel through the city before who've actually been phoning in from home to do the show. But, um, this is the start of our 21st year. Either that or you can call, you could consider it. Last last month's show, I was calling it our 20th anniversary because we started in December of 2001. And so it's like, I guess we can count this as the 20th or the start of the 21st. Since I went through all the 20th stuff last month, we'll pretend this is the start of the 21st. Um, and I'm, I'm so thrilled tonight to be joined by, in the order on the screen here, Todd LaRue, who's also uh, in, in a much more festive mood than myself and or well, Tom Rex. Uh, I'm, fe I'm festive. I'm in a festive mood. <laughs> oh, that's... I'm not as festive as my setting. You're inherently festive, right, Tom? You don't need those yes. dumb bulbs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I like them. But yeah. You're a little jealous, right? Yeah. Oh, well, you, you channel that anger. That's, that's going to make for a good set tonight. Um, so i um, thrilled to welcome these two gentlemen tonight. Todd has, has played um, the live iteration and, and the uh, video version, although when he played before, I didn't remember this, it was the earlier days of, of us May trying to get a footing here, and this is a much more smooth venue uh, for, for doing it, so I'm glad to have him back. And then Tom, this is he's a first time folk viewer, but uh, I, I uh, am acquainted with Tom from uh, our last live venue with Sylvie's and uh, he would often play the acoustic explosion there. And I were hobnobbing a little beforehand. I was like, I think I, I think I met you there. I don't remember. Are we just on Facebook friends? And it's like, oh yeah, it was, we did, but it was a while ago. Um, and I'm, I'm thrilled to have him play for this. Uh, again, I, I like the thought of this, the inaugural show of the 21st year. So it's great to have a returning um, co-bill and then somebody brand new to the fold. Um, let me quickly say this uh, about uh, Round Robin. Um, I think if people are tuning in, they probably know what that means. But then again, there's, there's no one way to run a Round Robin or a guitar pull or whatever you want to call it. It's an opportunity for songwriters to get together and play material that they've either written on their own or co-written um original material in other words and um it, it uh, the the notion of round robin is that it's smaller sets depending on however many total songs people are going to play uh where like the first performer plays a song or two and then it passes to the next one who does the same and then it passes to the next and then comes around again eventually to the first uh, person who started it and then the cycle begins anew um, and that's more or less uh, how I've been running this for 20 plus years um, since since we started in 2001. My God. Um, and uh, I didn't give a Todd or Tom uh, an opportunity to anything you want to say, uh, dudes, just to start the night off before I, I banish you down to our green room, but where, by the way, there's plenty of grapes and, and also <laughs> some narcotics down there. <laughs> like. But uh, any any introductory comments you want to make quickly? Uh, I just want to say that I hope I don't have to tune my guitar. <laughs> tune, tuning, Todd, you didn't tune yours. Yeah, right? you that's so you yesterday. Know. If you're playing with me, then yeah, no, no. I, I if I tune my guitar, it's to the key of J, which is let me just tell you, it's it's a it's a key like no other. So I think you'll be fine, Tom. I'm intrigued. Yeah, you might be the only one. <laughs> Um, well, if, if you are both, you guys are both good, then I will um, say sayonara for the moment. Todd will follow me and then Tom, and as, as we see on the screen, will follow Todd and then the whole thing will begin again. So dudes, um, I will um, see Tom, you in a little bit. Hang tight. Todd, I will see you in a slightly less little bit. Awesome. Go get it. All right. Glad to have you. All right. Thanks. 
All right. I know that they are uh, happy that they're no longer up on the screen and having to listen to me kind of do my pre-show ramble, which is always kind of mostly the same thing. And yet, you know, the first pass for me is always, I mean, I, I, I say this um, uh, to performers here, performers live. I'm a teacher as well. So I say this to, to my students if, if they have to stand in front of the class or whatever. I say nerves are fine. You know, having nerves is actually good um, because I think it helps your performance. It, it, it you know, tells you you're alive. It, it, there's definitely moments when nerves are not good. But for me, the first pass, I'm always just really amped up. So I'm, I'm glad to, to, you know, looking forward to and glad to get through my first little mini set. And I'm sure that those guys are happy to have a moment to catch their breath. There's already a note here. Um, Tom Recht is my hero. So the, the Facebook uh, connection is already coming through here. Uh, thank, thank you for that. Glad to have you here. And I guess what I need to be doing, which I, I have not done, is getting my own guitar over here. Those two guys certainly had an axe. I've got my trusty Martin here. All right. Hmm. I got a, a new chair here that's got me a little lower to the earth, but you know what? I think I can work with this. So yeah, thank you for, for tuning in. Um, uh, some, some months that I've done this over the years, uh, we haven't done a December show. And then of course, since the, the pandemic struck, um, I think I've done a show every December then. And then there were other things that were happening, not just uh, holiday related or family related or whatever in December that had me usually taking the month off, but it, it just makes um, a lot of sense to, uh, to, to uh, do them while we're doing these remote shows. And maybe next year we'll be back uh, in the, uh, the live uh, uh, setting. It's basically my call and my call is, I've not been doing any live stuff um, at least of a musical variety, at least not yet. But anyway, I, I am going to focus on getting this thing started and stop with all that blathering. So the, the, uh, I have a band called the Injured Parties. Um, uh, during the, the, the pandemic, we weren't playing at all. And then um, in the last uh, couple of months, we've finally been getting back together and rehearsing with plans to uh, start recording um, in the new year, which is right, right around the corner, uh, a new album. And so the last uh, handful of shows have been devoted to all new material, this stuff that's earmarked for the album. And I am gonna play some of that tonight, especially since some of it is still being tweaked as, as, uh, as, as we live in the world uh, in real time. But I'm actually starting with um, an injured party song that was off of our most recently released album, which is product placement from the year 2019. And remember the simpler days of 2019. And uh, this is a, a much more rocked up version on the album of the song I'm going to I'm going to play for you, which is actually one that uh, had been around for a while prior to being recorded for that album. And um, was played differently than it wound up being arranged on the record. So I'm kind of taking a few steps back to the more more folksier version of this song, but uh, it's it's not exactly as uh, as it was prior to the band got their claws into it. Thank God they did. Um, and it's called Frosted Flakes. Here we go. Toucan Sam and Tony Neat. <laughs> there I go. Let me try again. Toucan Sam and Tony the Tiger met at the usual place. Drank till they were three sheets to the wind, radiant in their perfect disgrace. No one takes us seriously, they slurred from dusk till dawn. Instead of Shakespeare in the park, it's been Disney on the lawn. Studied with Stanislavski, memorized, an actor prepares. But the only gig either one could get was selling 
Cereal the squares. Tony was a Buddhist and took it all in stride. But with every spoonful of Fruit Loops, Sam swallowed his pride. From Battle Creek to Hollywood, they prostituted their dreams. Heroes of prepubescence and victim A marketing schemes Marketing schemes To agents they were has-beens While ex-wives were more vehement Took them for every red cent In prenuptial agreements Sam's Hacienda and Burbank Went on the auction block While Tony sold for peanuts Robert Wagner's refurbished yacht Oh, it's a beauty. They drank to disillusionment, those consummate fools. Tony with his true stripes and Sam's endearing nose. A pair of animated animals whose hearts can also break Spilling cartoon tears into bowls of frosted flame Bowls of frosted flame Bowls of frosted <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you know, the one thing that uh, I've noticed among my peers, uh, <laughs> whether they be locally or, you know, uh, big name uh, performers getting older, is those high notes are not so easy to hit anymore. <laughs> and so I think in part, I, I picked this song because it's like, wait a minute, can I do that like wonderful little <laughs> high note at the end? And it's like, yeah, can you do that? I think I think I did. I think I did. Um, so yeah. Frosted Flakes, thank you so much to Tony, who for some reason I couldn't get that first line out of my mouth earlier in the right uh, rhythm there. Screwed it up again. That's what I'm here for. So um, this next one's new, but it is not uh, going to be on the the um, Injured Parties album. I think this, this year, if, um, if I really want to give myself extra trouble, I'd like to start working on uh, another solo album. Um, and this would be a song that I would I would put on there. Um, not that it wouldn't have, have worked on the Injured Parties album, but it just comes down to that time where you're kind of laying stuff out and thinking, you know, all right, what would work best where? Um, so again, this has not, not been recorded before, uh, won't be on this Injured Parties album, but, but really happy to, uh, uh, to be playing it for you. The title will become apparent, and I will not say what it is right now. Uh, Kathy Greenhold, thank you for tuning in. Thanks to everybody tuning in the nice comments. Uh, and Kathy, yes, the sugar and cereals are my favorite too. Um, yeah, it's, it's like the pop, the pop hooks in a song. You want them to just like, you know, grease up your teeth with that sugary feel. And um, this is probably going to be about as opposite from that as, as you can imagine. Here we go.
could have been a contender. Marlon Brando said famously, when I saw him on the street, he gave the whole speech to me. And Marlon got me thinking of everything I could have done. The cancers I would have cured, the Nobel Prizes to be won. But I was aborted, I was aborted, I was aborted. So there you go. And all you liberated ladies with your bodies and your voices, silence in the plaintiff cries of the pro-life choices. Every fetus is a genius that just has to be born to solve the world's problems. Like atheism, communism, and porn, but I was aborted. I was aborted. I was aborted. So there you go. Don't take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to complain. I've got things pretty good. Up here on the astral plane, as I said to Abraham Lincoln, a after life is pretty sweet. I've never been aborted. We wouldn't have had the chance to meet, but I was aborted. I was aborted. I was aborted. My neighbor's a clinic bomber, he's got quite a nice spread, God would never punish him making those doctors dead. He had a higher calling. He did what he did for me. And now we're sipping my ties for all eternity. I was aborted. I was aborted. I was aborted. So there you go. I was aborted. I was aborted. I was aborted. So there you go. <laughs> All right, abortion. Yeah, you had, me, you had me hanging there on every line. Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess that kind of speak that kind of speaks for for itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you know, given uh, I mean, this it, it predates the 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 recent uh, decision, the Dobbs decision oh, yeah. there, and it mm. just seemed like. Um, I don't think I played it because I've been doing this new stuff from the that's going to be on the band album, um, and uh, I, I just kind of put it aside. And I thought, well, if I'm going to start digging back into the pile, yeah. I know which one's calling me. So you know, thank nice. you so much. Yeah. Uh, how you feeling, Todd? Are you? Uh, well, you know, I was working. I'm working on a new batch of songs, but I got sick like the Monday before Thanksgiving, and I was laid out for like three weeks. Oh man. So like this week, like earlier this week, I started to feel better and the songs aren't ready. So I'm going to play old songs tonight. Oh, well, no apologies needed. I love you. I love your your stuff, regardless, new, old. Thanks. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just um, sorry to hear you were ill. Was it? Um, yeah. you, I don't mean to, to be. No, it, it wasn't COVID. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a teacher. I'm an eighth grade teacher. So yeah, it could have. It could have. God been knows what. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> 
but, from, from um, the great petri dish of the classroom yeah. yeah yeah but it's a because we've been wearing masks i think i haven't been sick in over two years yeah so that might have had something to do with it too so i who knows you got the ultra trounce there yeah, yeah me too i keep feeling like and and i've had other other friends who've been like totally avoiding it and been really lucky and then they've been getting hit and then they've been like two weeks on their backs right so i'm right. like wow that can't wait for you know the mo my moment in the sun or in the, the <laughs> right. is more like it right. um but i've i've been yeah and uh, all kinds of other things i don't think i've ever been weirdly enough as healthy as i probably have been in the midst of the worst health you know right. the worst health crisis of our lifetime right. probably right. probably let's hope right. it's the worst of our lifetime yeah let's hope so yeah, yeah. um but uh i i shall not take away from your time in the, in oh. the spotlight anymore. i'm gonna actually keep these some you know you know, my band, the Red Wigglers, we've got horns and all this stuff going on. And a lot of these songs are duets. So I'm going to cut through a lot of the, like, you know, the horn solos and stuff and keep these right, kind of right to the point. You, you don't want to do that. Like, sometimes I, I love this, like, live performance, the semi-nervous thing where someone will be playing and they'll go, this is where the guitar solo would be. I'll probably or, say something like that. Or, or they'll, like, like they'll hum the horn part or something yeah, like that. Right. I can't whistle. I, I oh, whistled yeah. it yesterday. Or it'd be like, or, or you can whistle, but it'd be the I kind can't. that would that would like shatter the glass. Is that it? No, no, it's real quiet. It's, I can't whistle. I don't know how to whistle. Oh, okay, I, I get you. Well, I'll listen, making some noises with my mouth. Whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. like throw yeah. throw in some minor seventh chords where that stuff normally goes. <laughs> to hell with whatever key it's already in. You know, I don't even know. You are the architect. Well, welcome to the club. Yeah, Ooh, <laughs> friends. Yeah. Um, uh, well, uh, we're getting nice comments here. Hey, everyone, Thank Joy Young, a yeah, frequent a, a fellow poet and a, a frequent a listener. Thanks for tuning in, Joy. I'm going to shut you. up. I'm going to let you do your thing. Okay. See you on the next pass. All right. And glad to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Uh, this is an older song that um, my band doesn't play anymore um, because our lead guitar player, Steve Mend, isn't, uh, isn't with us anymore. On the recording on, the, let's see, our album, Absolutely Western Avenue. Um, he plays some some twangy uh, like um, leads on this, which really makes the song for me. And since he's gone, I'm like if the song's really not worth playing, but I still like the song, and so I dug it out the other night. Um, I noticed that some lyrics could be changed, but uh, you know, the, the, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right. Um, <laughs>
Here's another song that we don't play. The Red Wigglers is my band. <clears throat> um, it's more, this is more of like, it's not a Friday, Saturday night pub song. It's more of a, maybe a, maybe a reflective. I don't know. It's slower and it's, uh, the only time we played it was at a memorial for a guitar player of us who passed. So, and the trumpet usually does this part. We'll see if I can get it right. Okay. Something like that. Oh, we got cats and dogs running around here. What can I do as time flows by? Like water through my grasp. Time is a river and I can can't slow the end All I can do is be in love. Make the most of finite time. Let it go. Actually, there's a solo here. We'll go right into the second verse. All that I've lost is gone. What I never had, I don't need. My regrets mount and stay. I fear nothing else Ice pick, all that is sun melts into thin air. We come, we go, feel no still less care. All that is sun melts into thin air. So take care, do it now. <laughs> Something like that. I cut it short. Um, usually our, our, our female vocalist sings on that. Um, a few times we played it. And my daughter didn't want to sing tonight, my nine-year-old. Um, that song's called All It Solid Melts Into Thin Air. And it's from our um, Let's Canoodle album. 
um, Red Wavers. Hey, Tom. That was swell. Thank you. Thank you. A little nervous the first time around, like Larry said. Oh, I'm always nervous. But yeah, yeah. It's good, though. You've been now included. <laughs> All right. I'm looking forward to hearing your songs. Well, you say that now. Oh. We'll see. Well, you sat through mine, so. Well, I was dancing. I wasn't sitting. Um, the, uh, oh, well, I just want to say I'm honored to be on the screen with Larry and Todd, and I hope you'll vote for me. My first song is called The Explosion. Look what I found here on the ground.
I was banging my guitar on the mic stand, so I'm adjusting. Okay, this song's called One More Chance. there i wasn't sure it's like wait a minute is that is that it and the last thing i wanted to do is it was interrupt that was great oh, thanks larry yeah you 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 were talking um off off air uh, about making sure the balance and everything was was right you sound great your voice sounds great your guitar sounds great you're getting some good comments about the same um on the facebook feed so you should definitely take a look at that yeah and you're getting some ver some virtual or some worded claps as well <laughs> From your do fan. You know? so, yeah, it sounds great, man. I can't read it. The screen's so far away. Go way up <laughs> you know what? It'll it'll be something that you can treasure later. You can see okay. they focused on your performance. Great. And I have to say, I really loved the uh the accidental, and yet it was perfect. The the clipboard was in the foreground. <laughs> I was afraid of that. I uh, know I nothing to be afraid of. I'm a I, I have become a big uh 
I, I shouldn't even call it a cheat sheeter anymore because I, I like having the lyrics there, you know, especially for something in the context of like a songwriter round robin where maybe it's you decide to change something at the last minute. The whole point here isn't to have like the, the super tight set where, you know, everything's nailed down and perfect. So I, I think I, I gave up a long time ago uh, apologizing for having like my my music stand off to the side and the stuff good to go. So I thought it was yeah. like old, you know, right there in the foreground. There it is. Uh, and it just totally stated you're ready to rock it. <laughs> OK, yeah, <laughs> I guess. So um, nice job. Take a look at some of the comments. Um, and I uh, I will see you on the next pass. Um, glad to have you here. Glad to be here. Glad to hear, to be, to hear you oh. and Todd. Ditto, ditto. All right, man. See you in a bit. Uh, trying to get a read. I think he, I think I, I'm always thinking because it's me, especially <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm, uh, oh, what is that uh, called? Uh, doesn't matter. But, um, uh, I'm, I'm in, I'm putting my own feelings on to Tom. It's kind of like I, I, when I'm done, I kind of like to like pull back, but, um, uh, yeah. Wow. Really good. Very intense. Um, and yet, uh, the lyrics are fantastic and, uh, wow. I'm so glad to have him here. This is his debut. If I, as I put in the, in the comments there, and I think I said it on top for, for folk you. So, you know, why haven't we had him, uh, before, uh, our loss, but great to have him. So, yes, um, and thank you for all the nice comments, and thank you for everybody that's tuning in. Uh, I told um, Todd and Tom, um, I've, I've started putting the, the archive shows up on YouTube after each month's performance is done. I'll do the same for this one, and um, I'll post those links as I, as I want to do in way more places than people probably need to access them. Uh, and I'll certainly make sure Todd and, and Todd have that as well. But thanks for for being there in real time. I have thought maybe even with what the weather people had said, I'd be um, I have a like floor to ceiling window right over here. I'd be looking out and seeing like like <laughs> swirling snow or, or white streets, and it's it's not that, but I'm definitely feeling the chill as we approach the first day of winter. Is, is I think coming up next week. Um, uh, not that this song has anything to do with it, uh, but just um, last month, it was a whole different story sitting in the same place. But that's what it's what it's like to live in the Midwest. Um, so this next song, and in fact, the next two are indeed songs from the forthcoming Injured Parties album. And um, even though I told myself, all right, you know, you can you can dip your toes back and in, into the, uh, you know, the, the bigger oeuvre um, uh, starting now, you know, for, for uh, I mean, I make the rules here. I didn't have to do it, but it just seemed like the thing to do. I, I knew that some would still um, be in the set. And this one got tweaked a little bit because of um, things that have happened recently. You'll probably, uh, you'll probably notice a reference in here to something that's, that's more recent than even the other uh, comments in the song uh, could, be, could be dated. Well, it was an awful way to put it. Um, I'm I'm uh, I'm only a writer after all, but uh, you'll you'll probably notice the more the, the most recent references here, and this is called "Q's Gone Dark." I've been playing this one a lot, um, even before I started uh, focusing on this stuff for the album, and that's the letter Q. So this is uh, about QAnon and in its adherents. Um, ho ho! <laughs> Ah, yeah, there we go. Uh, I was telling Todd and Tom nothing too wacky had been happening. My signal looks really weak there. Um, hopefully you can still hear. Ah, there it goes better. And and uh, I'm right by my modem. I don't understand. I think that's probably the Lord just trying to tell me, you know, to watch what I'm saying or to just get down with it and sing, which I'm going to do. This is Q's Gone Dark. <laughs> Unless I completely vanish. Oh, thanks. Okay. Unless I completely vanish, I'm just going to keep going here. Q's gone dark. It's wait and see. Well, I'm stocking shells. 
at the Piggly Wiggly. Q's gone dark, but when he's back, got sticks and stones for the big attack. Q's gone dark, it'll be a little while before more cannibalist pedophiles. Q's gone dark. It's not just me. The word got heard. Over yonder in Germany. Kroger Karen's here. Whitefish Karen too. And she's been in touch with some boogaloos. Q's gone dark, please don't panic. Every Democrat's a closet satanic. Q's gone dark, but he's got a plan. The storm is brewing from inside of a van. Parked in the lot, area 51, where he mops the halls and scrapes up gum. Hughes gone dark at the pizza parlor. Patriots like me will make the cab all holler. Hughes gone dark, please don't panic. Every Democrat's a closet satanic. So the, uh, the, the, the lines about Germany and, you know, after the, you know, mind boggling, uh, recent attempted coup in Germany, uh, I just, those lines came to me and, you know, they, they're uh, perfectly situated to replace some like kind of iffy lines in the song. So I like to think that like any kind of, you know, condition of the, the songwriting, uh, uh, process your mind is always kind of like thinking about what it can do to improve on something if it's not quite gotten to i mean i would i would never be as bold uh, or, or i don't believe that in the notion of perfection but uh when something hasn't maybe quite gotten to the point yet where you're like yeah that's it so i think that maybe that little um attempt <laughs> over there uh was was what i needed to kind of uh, elevate the song to uh to where it needed to be. So th thank you, German assholes. And let's not forget their American compatriots. So um, continuing with, with songs uh, torn from the headlines, uh, this is called Victor's Gonna Vape. Um, I think that kind of tells you what the song's about. Um, and, uh, you know, the, 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 whole vaping thing is just kind of mystifying to me. Um, and then of course the, the, this song precedes it, but the recent settlement that Jewel did, uh, J-U-U-L, not Jewel the, the um, folk chanteuse, <laughs> uh, or Jewel the grocery store, which is like two blocks from me, but um, the, the, uh, the vaping company uh, just did like, it was like a $1.7 billion settlement or whatever for being a little bit more addictive than they claimed to be. So it's like, um, a lot of these albums, uh, a lot of these album songs that are going to be on this new album are are uh, very topical, and and in in some way, uh, I wish that the, what they're topical about would cease to be topical. But 
uh, it, it feels like by the time we get it recorded and uh, and um, out there, they may still be topical, which is I guess good for us, but but not necessarily good for what the topicality is talking about. But this is Victor's gonna vape. That boy with clouds in his mouth Opens it up and junk comes pouring out Can't see his face hidden behind the screen A fruity formaldehyde and nicotine Is gonna vape. There he goes, turning it on. There he blows. It's not the pressure that makes him pop. And he only vapes until he's vaped enough. It's a delicate buzz, it's a sublime high. Smoke rising up like cherubs to the sky. Victor's gonna vape, he can't stop. Hit after hit till he drops. Back in Shenyang in two thousand and three. A Chinese pharmacist made a discovery All that e-liquid has flooded the globe We're surfing a tsunami of particulate smoke Victor's gonna fade There he goes Turning it on, there he blows. Victor's gonna fade, he can't stop. Hit after hit, till he drops. Nice. Well done. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I noticed that we can't put comments in. Oh, you can't? The, no. Oh, that's I a bummer. I don't see where or how, but yeah. I was... Yeah, it's like, well, would that I had the power to like go in yeah. and bequeath yeah. this to you? Yeah, that's that's too bad. Well, you yeah. have your you have your second computer open there, no, right? I, I, I shut it down because it was basically the same thing as what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Oh, and, okay. And it's kind of yeah. weird playing these songs, I have to say, and looking at myself, which is... Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought about that when you said that, but I wasn't, if it was me, it'd be like, I'm already, I don't like mirrors. I don't like any yeah, of that I'm looking, stuff. I'm looking elsewhere, actually. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you can't do that. I can tell oh, you the can. comments are great. I mean, no, I can go I in and- the comments and I love them and I was going to join in because I appreciate your songs and Tom was, that's, that was great. I wanted to put something in, but I don't see how to do it. Oh, bummer. So you don't have a little, you don't have a little box at the no, bottom? No, oh. not bottom, top or anywhere. Oh, okay. Wow. Anyway, Sorry about that. I'm enjoying all, all right. songs. By well, you, you can send it by carrier pigeon. I think that'll still work, <laughs> you know, and probably it's, you know, a night like this, a pigeon's going to hustle even <laughs> twice as fast to get between destinations. So I'm not sure how that really would work in this context here, but, you know, yeah. it sounds good. Yeah. 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 Um. So, and I, I love loving the mud honey shirt too, by oh, the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that hasn't been out in a while. 
I should have noticed it. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, I should have noticed that detail initially. And it was kind of like, I was so busy. Like, let's, let's get all the business out of the way before we get on yeah, the air. Yeah. And then um, when you started playing, I was looking at it. I was like, that says mud honey. Right. And I was going to make some comment about it, or, you know, in the comments. And I thought, yeah. what if it's not, you know, <laughs> I'm really going to blow it. If it's something, you know, that's, that's uh, not mud honey. And yet <laughs> it's, it, 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 it is what it is. And it's a lovely thing. The 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 band and the film that they got the name from. Oh yeah, yeah. Are I you saw, familiar I with saw the, the film the, once? Yeah, yeah. The the oeuvre of. I was much uh, younger. I have a feeling it would be. I would take it a lot differently than I did. Back then. Yeah, you 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 might be not quite as you the know. Oh, Russ, uh, the Russ Russ Meyer stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Of of faster pussy. Have you ever right, seen Faster right. Pussycat Kill Kill? I don't know. It seems like I must have. It that is genius. I'm sure I did. To, you know, the, the thing is, Russ owned the rights to all his stuff. And so if you want to ever get that on disc, it's very expensive. And then it goes in and out of print because yeah. it's not owned by, except for like, uh, what if I get too fast? Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, which he did for a studio. He did two movies for 20th Century Fox, and those okay. are both available. Okay. But but all the other ones, the ones that are the real Russ Meyer ones, are, are only I think available. When I saw from, Mud Honey, it was through Facets. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, which I still, I'm still a member. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, uh, another a, a local favorite, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Uh, well, as you can see, I'm babbling needlessly again, which is <laughs> kind of my thing, I guess. But yeah. also, I, this is a show about music, and it's time for you to play. So, okay, all right, all right, well, man. Um, all right. See you, see you on the next pass. All right, awesome. All right, all right. Thanks. Uh, this, uh, this is another duet. Um, but <laughs> for better or worse, you get just me tonight. Uh, it's called We're Dialectic. <laughs> Movie's over. The family's here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dog's not barking. That's good. I gave him a couple uh, calm pills. <laughs> Chester, yeah. 
Okay, this one is called My Journey to You. And we pr recently brought this back. The horns give it a nice tension. Um, the lead guitars or the lead little riff you're going to hear. I mean, probably Muff is uh, is played by the bass player, who's a really good musician. Um, so here's uh, My Journey to You. Focus, doggy go away. trumpet Mike Haggerty called it. Come here whistle. I can't whistle. It's almost over. Lead dog is right. <laughs> hey dog. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a little, dis a little distracted. I switched guitars. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, I was admiring that guitar. Oh, thank you. Also, your voice. Oh, thanks. A really great voice. Thanks. Sometimes I think I should take up smoking so it could be a little longer. Tom Weeks. No, don't. Don't <laughs> thank do you. it. Yeah, it's a little travel guitar. My daughter's playing it. My nine-year-old's playing it now. So it's, it's a nice little one. But I think I might go back to the other guitar. Well, maybe who knows? That's a long time from now. I'm looking forward to hearing it. You have song. time. Yeah, you, you have time. Yeah. Time. But that's probably not a good thing. Anyway, I'm looking forward to hearing more songs from you. Oh, well, 
Um, you know, the new cars have uh, autopilot, like, you know, the auto drive. They, they steer themselves, and they stop for lights and whatever, and you're not really supposed to get in the back seat, but I do. And uh, I wrote this song in the back seat on the way to Madison. Singing's just a feeling That's one thing I know But sometimes When appearing It grabs and takes hold Once I was uncareful I fell into this hole I know Love is so appealing Pretenders may show And sometimes If you're still healing It's so hard to know I tried to be careful in time, well, I let go. I know. Thinking is just a feeling I know, I know, I know But sometimes when appearing It grabs and takes hold Once I was uncareful, I fell into this hole, this hole, this hole, this hole, this hole. This hole Oh, it's called Sinking, that song. I guess I didn't pre-announce. Okay, so this, this song is called My Lily Pad. Oh, 
my lily pad snagged on a branch sways on tiny waves my old friend she's got nothing good to say she gets mad and runs away I'll just stand till she return with a smile for me rise on a breeze climb through the trees sky looks kind of gray today my lily pad floats far above the head of my friend where she lies in bed all around me I see ghosts our best plans gone up in smoke please My lily pad No time For a nap Glide Through dark cloud My Old friend She soon She's going to re-engage when I learn to act my age there's a hole till she comes back for me For me, for me. Nice Thank job. You. Thank you for the for those words and claps. <laughs> In that order, the words first, then the claps. I was going to say claps first, but it just came out that way. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's all dynamic here because I got to make sure that the person's done and then get on there and I want them to actually hear the applause since we're, you know, it's it, this is about as close as it can get to the, the usual round robin feel without actually being in the room and hearing the actual applause. So it's nice to actually get as much of it there as I can, you know, even though I'm not there, but at least you can hear that sound. I'm happy. <laughs> good, I think good. It's going great. Oh no, you you sounded fantastic, man. Um, the that my lily pad title alone does it for me, as far as I'm concerned. Huh. Yeah.
And the the previous song you wrote that like in a like sitting in the back of a of a driverless car, huh? Oh, it's not really. I just like to brag about it. <laughs> I, I've never been in a driverless car. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, well, nonetheless, you inspired me to change up what I was going to do for my last song. Uh, okay. I, I I pulled another. It's still from the new pile, you know, but it's it's not one. It's not one that's been recorded yet. Um, it's definitely in the mode of the that driverless car uh, theme. Although this is this is a driver car, but um, uh, I'll talk more about it in a second. There was something else that popped into my head, and and I can't remember what it was. Just. Uh, uh, if, if if I think of it again, I'll I'll mention it to you when we when we come around for the last pass. Um, deal. Th- were you going to say something, uh, Tom? It's a it's a deal. I'll, oh, I'll it's win. a deal. All right, oh, you're an easy man to please. All right. So thanks again. We'll see you uh, next time uh, you come around. All right. Um, yeah, so I I was gonna do uh, for my for my and, and and once again I mean I'm gonna save all the superlatives for when everyone's up on screen at the end but um, I'm so pleased to have um, you know Tom here for the first time under the the folk you umbrella uh, such as it is and uh, Todd Larue who I've always I've always loved whether uh, he does his solo stuff or re- with the with the Red Wigglers um, and um, and of course uh, he, he's getting some. Uh, special guests uh, in his in his uh, portion of the evening. His dog, cat. Earlier, Tom removed his cat, <laughs> a cat. I hope it's his cat. Um, at uh, at one point, uh, but thanks to both of them, and and again, I'm more officially at the end for for doing such great work so far. So I did uh, the the last song I was going to play was was again from the it's not a, a earmark for this forthcoming album um, neither is this one uh, this one is is probably going to be on the the solo album if I get around to doing that or whenever I get around to doing that and but I was inspired by the the driverless car uh, notion and um, it's called Are You My Uber and. Uh, inspired by uh i'm sure this you know a a phrase people have heard many times um and i'm often pulling up to high-rise buildings to to drop um my my wife off uh my voice dropped a little bit there i don't know why but um and so there'll often be people who are who are coming out as i'm waiting or to pick her up and uh and i can tell they're just they they think i'm their uber driver so i'm waiting to hear that are you my uber and what uh, prompted this was that that actual phrase not being mentioned to me, but overhearing someone say it, and it just struck me all of a sudden as being so uh, kind of odd, um, that, you know, especially with the notion of you know the the Uber as a as a as a um, as a word by itself, and what it now has come to mean. So I shan't de- uh, belabor the point any further. I'll just play the song. But th- thanks to uh, to Tom for inspiring me to pull it out of the pile and end with this one instead, because the one I was going to end with, uh, yeah, Tom's playing again for sure. So you get a comment there. He's he's coming back again. Um, uh, the one I was going to play was um, one that I hadn't played in a while that was inspired. <laughs> that's the right word for the the horrible shooting that happened today at uh, in Pilsen. Um, and, um, it was, it was a very downer. I'm not sure that this is, this is definitely not as, as, uh, it's not a downer, but, uh, the, the spirit of this one is, is different. And I think I kind of would, was leaning more toward this. I felt like I should play the other one. So I'm glad that, that Tom inspired me to do it. Here we go. Are you my Uber? I hadn't prepared this, but I, and I haven't played it in a while, but just shut up and play it. Right. <laughs> Are you my Uber? I really like to know. I got places to be, and to be I must go. It's too far to walk, believe me, I tried. Are you my Uber? 
can I climb inside? Are you my Uber? I'm already late. Please answer me now so I can make my escape. I gotta get out any place but here. Are you my Uber? Will you make me disappear? There's an empty space where I used to reside When they looked for me, I would have to hide Now I'm watching from the other side And waiting for a ride Are you my Uber? Let's take a drive. My destination is to simply arrive. I close my eyes. Let me know when we're there. Are you my Uber? Take Are you my Uber? Take me anywhere. Yay. <laughs> Sitting here with Chester, really enjoying the songs. Ah, hey. <laughs> I can. I, I, I feel the exuberance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gave him, I, he likes the, the, the calm pills from time to time, and it's Friday night. Ooh. So he, he, you know, he got a couple tonight. Wow. It's too bad you can't take the camera and like zoom in on what I'm sure are those pinprick people <laughs> of your very high dog there. <laughs> Good news. Oh, he's not. Yeah. Yeah, Todd, this think. is this is what you did for the show tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. No, I, I had the dog down, right? This, this is usually bedtime for him anyway. Me so. too. <laughs> Normally <laughs> now I'm 10 o'clock and then completely socked out. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I'm boy, I'm glad I decided to play that one instead. The other one is, uh, you know, was pretty serious. And I mean, I guess that one was serious too, but definitely a little bit more wistful. A little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not that I'm opposed to leaving people on a total downer, you know, hey, yeah. <laughs> right, but right. it's, it's, it's not usually something that I do, I guess. Probably so not. Yeah. It yeah. seemed like, like the, that was a better choice. So serendipity one. I think I'm going to change mine as well. Yeah, we'll play. do it. I was thinking like, we'll save the drinking songs for, we're playing at Phyllis's January 13th. And we've also got a show in March at the Montrose Saloon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you can replug replug all this fully at the end too. Uh, and and I should mention to you and to to Tom as well. If you if there's anything I saw, you could you're accessed. Your I, I signed page. in, and then I got a little you know I was making a little bit too many comments. I'm like I better sign on. You 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 were you able to figure it out through here? Or no, you were I had to sign. I went in through my other computer and signed yeah. in, and I was able to. Yeah, I was able. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, it's bad when people say something nice and I can't respond. Yeah, if, if you want to pl plug in any any um, um, links or anything in that, like when you're done with your song, if you want to, you know, your your Bandcamp page or anything, oh. I mean, people people can always plug that verbally. But if you want to put yeah. an actual yeah, URL really in there, but or I any URL, brought, like put put the URL for sticks in there. You know, I mean, <laughs> probably, probably have a there's probably it was sticks company sticks co i don't know sticks co. well i should have had sticks. my out my albums like you had i like that next if i do it again i'll have my uh cds to uh, show oh the the physical product the physical or i can just product. grab one of the ones back here that's crammed in with everything else back here and oh, just you might have yeah some some wiggler stuff back there oh, i don't God worry knows what I, uh, it's yeah who knows it's it's migrated from where it should be i'll tell you that much it should not be there and it's been there for years so yeah, i guess it should be there now right <laughs> um uh well i will i will let you play and okay. we'll see you again at the end for for the big uh for the big to do awesome all right all right thanks let me let me all right yeah let's do a I'll drinking skip. song and um i'm gonna skip the intro again it's without the band let's just get to the to the to the meaty stuff okay over a table of empties and through the smoke. I drink you in with all my senses over a table of empties and through the smoke. We're condensing words, changing tenses. I hope fortifies my reason. You make fun of the wagon in front. comments i shouldn't be doing it uh, over a table of empties and through the smoke i ponder my future it's a bit blurry but your cigarette smile and sweating eyes assure me you're right i've no reason to worry the wine fortifies my been enjoying your songs and you decided to use the travel guitar again yeah i'm not going to switch back and then yeah. i seem to have you having pro enough problems as it is yeah that's a good song thanks a lot thanks yeah i was going to play something else but that's a that's a old standby <laughs> guitar film oh well i have a travel guitar i think very similar to yours yeah. Except I tune it to A. Oh, so what nice. do you think of that? I love it. I love it. 
but I didn't use it today. Hmm. Uh, That's a great idea. Because it scares me. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, it's really easy to play. Yeah, it's really easy. I don't know why I was playing the other one. I guess um, this song is called Buttercup, and uh, it's a song of unrequited love, if I pronounce the word right. Love, I know how to pronounce. Unrequited. Maybe unrequited. I don't know. Um, and uh, one, once I played it at a... Um, uh, like a, a song circle-y kind of thing, not like this, uh, at the Old Town School. And uh, <clears throat> this one wise guy, who was a great guy, said that uh, he asked me if it was about a prostitute, and it isn't, it's about a cat, really. But anyway, the cat's name is Wiley. Buttercup looks in my eyes But I know love is the last thing on her mind Whenever I ask, she knows what to say Baby, please don't talk that way I'm with you now, says Buttercup That's enough Buttercup will never be mine Once I thought she cared for me But she's disinclined I tried to bend myself to her ways So she'd realize she wants me to stay But I have to go My time is up, says Buttercup Buttercup She's had enough Buttercup My time is up I tried to bend myself to her ways So she'd realize she wants me to stay But I have to go My time is up, says Buttercup Buttercup She's had Enough Buttercup My time is up My time is up Last person up always gets the stereo applause. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Miller. Good, good position to be in, and and I I think stereo applause is definitely uh, um, needed for a song called about Buttercup. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay. <laughs> Excellent, man. Sounded sounded terrific. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. A man of you're such an understated performer, you know. It's like uh there's just so much to say about your stuff, and yet it's all right there. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing. Well, thank you, Larry, for all your shows and this one too. Yeah, my God, twenty plus years worth. Wow. <laughs> I know it's amazing. I, yeah, I, it is. It Time can't really be grasped easily yeah the cliche of time goes fast you know i for every other anniversary of this show it's been a you know there's that feeling of wow i can't believe it's been this many years but you know those those round numbers i remember 10 being one where it's kind of like really is this still happening you know mm -hmm. and then once you get to 20 i guess it's just might as well now, keep going now it's a breeze I yeah guess. you know <laughs> wow it's second nature at this point yeah you know, i guess <laughs> Um, but wow. And, and the comments have been fantastic, you know, yeah, I, 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 and appreciated. Yeah. I tried to interject some stuff in there as I could, but I really appreciate whenever people tune in to, to listen. And as I said, I'll, I'll make the show available on YouTube again. Uh, if not tonight, I'll do it over the, the weekend and I'll let, uh, Tom and Todd know, and I'll post it on, on the, the, the folk you homepage and it'd be, it'll be easy enough to find, but, um, Thank you so much to let's do this officially now. Um, let, let's let's go to Todd since Tom just got the stereo applause. Todd LaRue, <laughs> thank, thank you so much for appearing. Uh, Todd was, was going to be here in September and we had to reschedule. September, right? Right. Yeah, and we right. had to do a last minute reschedule. Yeah. And so I was glad to get him in uh, before the year was out. And it's always a pleasure to hear him, whether it's with the Red Wigglers or on his own. And um so, so both of you officially uh, are welcome back next year, uh, whatever iteration awesome. we're in. Great. Um, and then once again, Tom, let's you get double dose of the applause. Oh, and the self applause. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do it. I would like to join in. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, um, it's been too long uh, that the without Tom wrecked. So you know, well, please come back next year. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and. Um, I don't really have any like like final stuff to say month to month. I don't, you know, we'll be back the third Friday of January, which I can't think of what that date is offhand, but right here in the same location, not yet doing live shows, but you know, in, in 23, that is probably going to happen. And then, you know, find the venue. I've got, I've got an idea in mind, but I'm not even, um, you know, talking about that until I know it's going to happen. But for now, uh, this, this is pretty nice and definitely month to month. My, the one thing I really look forward to. And it's because of stuff like this, you know, I can, as busy as I am just kind of running things, uh, it's just a pleasure to sit back and listen to great songwriters play their stuff and, you know, to be able to talk with them this little bit. Me, Mr. Rambler here, it's mainly just because I want to talk about this stuff, you know, so uh, just thank you so much for for your music and, and for being, uh, you know, wonderful people. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Larry. Larry. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Yes. Well, I'll do the self applause. <laughs> um, so any last words from either one of you, anything to plug? I know Todd mentioned a couple shows. If you want to yeah. just get, get in on uh, some last words on that. Sure. Todd. My band, uh, the Red Wigglers were playing at Phyllis's musical in um, Friday, January 13th. So oh. your show is probably on the 20th. Friday the 13th. Yes. Yeah, so it's gotta be. Cause it's not Friday the 13th. I would be, yeah, yeah that sounds right. It's, it's not, yeah. I think that's right. Yeah. And then also Montrose Saloon, March 9th or some around that sometime. Good. Yeah. Got to see the Wigglers. They're, they're great. And the, the yeah. horn players from the Red Wigglers played on the la that album I showed you, that, that Injured Parties album. Yeah. And this is a, definitely putting the cart before the horse. But, you know, there's a couple of songs on the, the new album where I've already am thinking that those gentlemen would be perfect oh, again. So, yeah. um you know, I've, I've, I've started to put the pennies in the jar to get ready, you know, to get the money together. Right, for right, right, right. Yeah, I know. But right. but I'd love to have them on there again. So, right, uh, when, great. When we and, know, we're heading into the studio. Finally, I'll I'll contact you about that. OK. All right. Yeah. yeah and the thing is, that it's not me singing all those songs. There's a, so a joke that Erica is the singer. She sings and I vocalize. <laughs> <laughs> right. Vocalize. I like that idea. You have a singer in the band. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> Of course, and, it's not the same for me. You can clearly hear my operatic training in my vo my voice, right? 
come soon. I, I studied with Pavarotti, Scott Pavarotti. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tom, do you do you have uh, something coming up that you want to plug? Um, I wish. No, <laughs> I don't. I Maybe I will. I mean, you'll, you'll time be appearing at IHOP every second Sunday at about 10 o'clock for the the eye opener special is I didn't know about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if, if uh, you, there's a fan fans of folk, you and, you know, uh, in different places to, to um, plug any shows you might have in the future. And then, and then we'll see you in 23. I hope so. Yeah. Yes. yes. So, so guys hang in there. We're going to do our final big goodbye to everybody. And this is the last show of the year too. So, you know, happy, happy, Pre New Year to everybody, happy pre holidays to everybody. Hope it's safe. Everyone's safe and and has a uh, safe and uh, healthy. Yes, exactly. I and I was saying to someone else um, uh, the other day that I love this time of year also because the city just quiets down. You know, I mean, people come back, but then more people seem to go out, and it just gets quiet, and it's always lovely. Yeah. So um, I, I hope everyone has a as, as you said, Todd. It's you know safe and and happy uh, end of the year. So hang tight, you guys. We're going to do the big wave and then um, sign off, and then we'll have our final foray uh, for for uh, ourselves. All right, everybody, be safe. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you.